Well, what do we got here, folks? A, a 2004 Toyota. Knock, knock. It's the RAV4. Whoa. Apparently, I'm told. Oh, there goes his window. Let me get the window. Hold on. I got the window. Apparently, it runs, but it's dead. He tells me it runs, but nothing works. The dash is dead. Which we got lights there. He's on right now. And yeah, we got no wipers, we got no radio. Must be that's why the window's down. We got none of that. We got no honker. But apparently it runs. <laughs> that's lovely. Well, I say pick one thing and fix it. And it'll fix everything. So let's pull it in. Let's see here. <laughs> so that stuff down there gives me a little concern. I don't even know what this thing is. Oh, it's a little micro switch. Some sort, bunch of fuses and such. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll, uh, let's do this the easy way. Okay, we do have four ways. That's one working thing, but I don't believe, yeah, no turning signals, none of that. I don't know, let's just pick something and fix it. It's like, you know, maybe pick the radio, I guess. However, before we do that, let's just give a little visual inspection here. Make sure it's not like a battery cable hanging off it or something silly. It's got to be a big main fuse or main power feed to something I would think. Looks like there's a big junction of wires coming out of here, out of the battery post. See the battery's relatively new. Guy doesn't have any history on the car because he just bought it, like I say, so let's uh, focus on the radio there and see what it takes to power that up. I'm assuming we have a whole part of a fuse box that is dead. That's my big fat guess. Right, if we got us a test light here, we're gonna clamp onto a good ground, make sure our test light works, and it does. And I've pulled up the wire diagram here for us and we can see, whoops, whoops, gosh dang it, here's this guy. So this is the uh, radio diagram without JBL, which I think is the better audio system. But anyhow, we're gonna go right for the fuse, because I doubt we're dealing with a ground here. Uh, radio fuse, 15 amp, engine room, junction box, left side of compartment. So it just says radio fuse, 15 amp, hot at all times. So it should be, in this box here and let's see if we can find one yep so right here this one here says radio right there and let's see the legend how this works since that way 15 10 and 30 15 10 30 so it's gotta be this one wow be decked that one is hot i didn't expect to see that folks let me just kind of buzz down a couple of these other ones here all right, so that's pretty interesting. So perhaps that is the keep alive side of things. There is another fuse here that runs the radio. Let me just see in case this is the JBL audio. Radio two fuse, 30 amp, radio fuse, 15 amp. Okay, so I gotta have to double check, see which one it's supposed to be. And then here, driver side junction box, left side of dash, accessory fuse, seven and a half, hot in the on position. So let's go check that, uh, because if that's the case, we might just be dealing with, you know, perhaps a bad ignition switch. Let's see if that fuse is any good. ACC fuse, seven and a half. Let's see, so it should be this middle one. All right, nothing there. I'm just gonna check a few other fuses here. I don't know what they go to, but it seems, well, either our test light is bad or all these fuses are dead. Let me try to find a, oh no, our test light works. There's a hot something. But yes, none, all of these fuses appear to be DOA. All right, so that's something good to note. Okay, let's see where that power comes from and trace the problem backwards and be done in no time. So here's our fuse inside and that's supposed to have power in the accessory position and in the on position and it doesn't. 
Uh, let's see, would it make sense to go look at uh, from AM1 fuse to AM1 of 2? I'm just curious if, uh, if we even have to look at the power feed to the ignition switch. And let's see, we should be able to figure that out. Yes, we do need to look at that. Um, because that is the power that feeds this switch is not the same as the one that starts it even though it keeps it hot in the start position here uh, the one that actually goes through the start is down through here so yes we do need to trace this backwards instead of I guess what I'm getting at is I don't want to dig for that if the fuse is easier to get to so we need to find uh, this triangle B in diagram 1 and C which is right here AM1 fuse, 40 amp driver's side junction box so that we're back to here. We need to, let me set you down here and we'll find this AM1 fuse. AM1 it says it's going to be a 40 amp, so it's going to be a bigger one. AM2. It did say AM1, right? Let me double check that for us. It's also obvious I can't read driver side junction box behind left side of dash. Guy's getting a little excited over here. Which I think is probably going to be good. Because um, we didn't have a horn either, which the power feeds the horn relay, the power that feeds this fuse. Let's go check it anyways, but I'm assuming that's also dead. I pulled the 40 amp right out, but yeah, it, it is also dead, which I assumed it was. So it's a big JK's fuse. So I'm gonna stick that back in and then we'll go to the main, the big main feeder out there under the hood. All right, let's see. Just like I said, I suspected that was gonna be dead anyway. So that comes from a main of four, which is an 80 amper, fusible link box, right side of firewall. So that has to be, I'm assuming this big sucker right there. It'd be interesting if that 80 amp fuse is blown, like, you know, what, what could have blown it if that's the case. But let's see if we can find it. So main four is the one that's dead. Now, if that fuse is good, the only other alternative is if this alternator fuse blew, that feeds all of these fuses, which that probably makes more sense because when I look to see what feeds off this fuse, it makes more sense that, you know, all this other stuff is dead too. So about this an idea here before we dig that thing open let's uh, see if we can't hook us the ground and let's just check to see if our alternator's dead oh yeah so there you go bingo so the battery main battery feed to the alternator she's doa so that fuse is blown probably because of a shorted alternator so there okay easy peasy just had to follow it backwards that would make more sense to me. Um, let's see. Got some zip tie action going on here. Everything else is broke, which is great. So we'll just cut that zip tie. We'll cut that zip tie. Oh, we got one clip here. Let's take the clip out. Get this little guy to the side. Yeah. So it makes you wonder now, because I know you know we're obviously going to find this fuse. However, this fuse arrangement is is open. We already determined that. The question is going to be why we do have an aftermarket alternator and we do have a brand new battery. So did something happen? Because we don't have any hold down. You know, did this come over and touch? I'm assuming we don't have the whole story. Yeah, part of the hold down is here. Um, I don't know. I don't know what these fuses look like. Not too often you see these babies blown, but let's get a 12 millimeter and see if we can't take the battery cable off there and get it, you know, get after it. I'm not even so sure if we'll be able to get one of these at the, the junkyard because they usually cut all the cables and stuff. That 
one must go to the starter. I tell you what, let's get the battery rate out of here so we can leave this thing over and see how to, well, I think it's got connectors on it here. Not real familiar with this. Let me try something here. This is gonna spark a little bit, probably. Oh, no. So that tells me, because that should be the alternator wire here. If that alternator was shorted, that should have sparked pretty good on us. Let me just try something here. Just gonna bypass the fuse here for a second see if this lights up it does so the alternator is not sh at least not dead shorted right now because you can see I'm holding the, the battery wire bypassing the fuse okay so that's interesting all right well we learned a little something there so perhaps there was an accident well they're putting new battery in oh easy Hey, now we're talking. Yeah, so it is all one big assembly, but yeah, look at that. Uh, that's the main fuse. That's 140 amperes, you got smoked. And then here's the other fuses that come down to these accessories. So yeah, it's definitely open circuited there. Stick a screwdriver in it. So we just need a new fuse box. I guess non-replaceable fuse here. Um, definitely got hot. I wish I knew the whole story because the only way for that fuse to blow, it would have to be on this leg alone. Um, I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense, which I'm wondering, being a new battery, maybe I can weasel a little more info out of this guy to see, to see what happens, or perhaps the alternator has an intermittent short. That would really suck to put a new one in to find out that the alternator shorts out when it gets hot. I wonder what we can do temporarily. Put these two back together, at least enough to start it and see if the alternator is shorted, which our initial test revealed that it's not, but see if we can do something here for a moment. Wonder how much current it'll take to melt the solder. Let's find out. So got a door dinger, that's good. We got a clock. We got a radio. Let's roll this fellow's windows up before this thing blows up on us again. Windows up. We got a horn. Oh, we don't want to try the wipers. We got headlights. Contact. We have contact. Let's see, do we got a blower motor? Oh yeah, we fixed it. Fixed. We're gonna crack this just a little bit so we don't get left out. Oh, must be, must be it doesn't go down. Oh, yeah. Does this one? Okay, this one. Okay, so he's got other problems here with the windows. Power lockers work. We're gonna roll this window down a little bit. We're gonna leave this window up. We don't wanna fiddle with anything else. Side here because like I said they got the battery in here just it's just kind of sitting in here on a block of wood and I'm just kind of curious as if that was just kind of bouncing around and you know shorted into something you know if the alternator was shorted we would have already blown the fuse at this point so you know I don't know I don't know what blow I don't know what blew the fuse it's just the one that runs to the alternator which also goes to all the other accessories the only thing that makes sense. You know, I don't I don't 
see any battle scars on it where it had been shorted. However, you know, if it was done with a tool, you know, with a wrench or something, it's hard to say. I'm going to let it warm up here a little bit. Uh, I'll see if we can't get us a, uh, a new fuse. Where we can see how much current is coming out of the uh, alternator. Can't be much because the wire's not even warm, even down on the alternator. I'm going to put on a high load. I'll turn on you know, a bunch of accessories. I don't know how much our little chunk of solder in there is going to take before it melts. So I guess that's about it. Kind of a dumb video. Put our low amp clamp on there and uh, the scale is uh, 10 millivolts per amp. 60 amp max on that. So you can see we're putting out you know, 40, 46 amps out of that all day. That's directly on the wire that you know, it's hooked to the fuse that moves. So. so it's 46 amps. So our little fuse is holding up pretty good. That's high beams on, low run high, rear defogger. trip time. Wilbert's you pulled a bath, not a sponsor. Uh, according to the interweb, they've got an 04 and an 05. So let's go down, even though it's raining. And I need new wipers. Let's go see if it's in there and if we can utilize it. I did not bring a screwdriver, so we're gonna take a chance that it's good. Mrs. O gave us an umbrella. It's pretty nice of her, huh? Row 18 and 20, so way out in the back 40. They've got an 04 and an 05. Man, this sucker's way out in the back 40. Hopefully they have one. Oh, this must be it. 05 RAV4 it says. That's a nice first one we came to. I tell you what, man, there is so much good stuff here. Lady just gave me the stink eye in there. <laughs> which I don't blame her, uh, because I told her this was a fuse. Which it is, I'm not lying, but I mean, if, if she's used to somebody coming in with, you know, a fuse and then this schmuck shows up with a big mystery box, tells her it's a fuse. I bet people try to get away with that kind of stuff all the time, but we don't need our wristband because we're not coming back. And hopefully that sucker's good. Now let's go put it on. Hopefully the 04 to 05 model's interchangeable here. <laughs> I imagine it is. that we'll button her up now naturally I mean I shouldn't say naturally obviously the guy needs the correct battery has the wrong battery in it it's missing all the hold down you know everything about all this is wrong and you guys are gonna you know ask why I didn't get all that stuff I was hired to get the car running that's it um, if you work in a shop you'll you'll quickly realize and I think scanner Danner just touched on this fix what you were hired to fix don't fix everything you see that's broke. All I can do is advise the customer, say, hey, you need, you know, yes, you need another new battery, you need the hold down, you know, you need all that stuff. And 
you know that's that's not my call it's not my dime so I'm just fixing what I was hired to fix and we're moving on with life we'll tell them about it and that's it that's all you can do that's how the world works fella stick this thing on there but obviously if this was your own car you know yeah now you can put in your own the correct battery and the hold down and all the stuff that's broken and missing and you know all the missing clips and everything there we'll stick the one clip back in we'll throw a couple zip ties like you had it and we'll flush this toilet back to work now the driver's side window something wrong with this switch because all the other three work just fine clearly this one went up just fine so I'm not too worried about that everything starts and runs and works as it should I guess So the million dollar question is what blew you know 140 amp fuse i think that's what it was it was a big fuse who knows um there's a lot of sin under that hood as you guys can see you know i mean the battery's been replaced we're missing the cap off the alternator you know anything could have happened could have dropped a tool on it the battery could have hit that metal uh, you know metal brace the strut brace there I don't know. All I know is the alternator appears to be functioning as it should right now. We let it warm up all the way until it was hot. I put it under full load to where it was, you know, putting out 40 some amps, almost 50 amps. You know, and without getting ridiculous, that's about the best you can do. I mean, we can speculate all day long or we can, you know, ship it. Obviously, somebody's been playing electrician because you can see all the jiggly bits all over the <laughs> carpet inside there. Not that that could have caused that to blow because we're looking for a direct short just in that one line and seeing what we see i mean that's the best that we can do and like i say guys you got to keep in mind that i'm running the shop i don't it's not my car so i'm not going to go through and fix every single thing i see wrong with it we get that comment all the time uh you know as we're working on cars you know oh i can't believe you didn't fix this i can't believe you didn't you know vacuum the floor mat i can't believe you know you're an idiot <laughs> you know so you, you got to keep in mind we get hired to do one job i do the job you know, I park it, that's it. I'm not gonna sit here and try to upsell 500 different things because I've got 500 things going on myself. We're gonna pull in the next one. We're gonna fix whatever the customer wanted to fix on that. And we're gonna park it back outside. So why don't you guys park yourself in that comment section, the questions, the Insta, the Facebook, comments, everything you got, put it down there. And just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.